Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and thank you for checking out our featured software series. All right, so today here in Studio One, what I want to show you is the difference in bus tracks. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you really um, kind of going to focus on my drum mix here. A uh, couple different things you can do here. You can select all of your tracks, and I've already got a bus track selected, but let's go ahead and remove that. So now that's still in your trash bin, so if you needed to pull it back, you could. But let's start from scratch. I'm going to come here because I want my bus track to be just after my drum tracks. I'm going to right click and you see add bus channel. And there I've got my bus channel. I'm going to name it drums. And then I'm going to highlight all my drums by clicking the first one, holding down the shift key, clicking the next, the, the last of uh, the track. And then I'm going to click right here on the output and tell it to go to the drums. The main output here is going to go to sub 1 because we are actually running through a summing mixer in the analog world, so that's how we're having it set up. Um, everything as far as leveling and panning is going to correlate with our bus channel here because this is a stereo track. And if we solo up and play, You can see that. So if we wanted to, we come here, add effects. And you know, we could say add a uh, stereo compressor if you wanted to. And then we could, you know, create our compression and uh, have our full drum bus going through here. And now we can actually just control everything from this channel. So if we're playing this, we can leave our drum mix the way we want it. And then we can adjust the volume here how we need to, or we can mute and so forth. And this will correlate with all the channels that are sent to this bus channel. And that way, if we want to do some mute groups or we want to, uh, you know, adjust some of the leveling within the song through automation, we're only controlling it by one channel instead of having to do all channels. Now, we can, of course, group it. And then now all of these are grouped, and it's relative to the mix that we already have. And then mute solo. So if we wanted to do that, we can. And then instead of going to our sub out, or instead of going into our, our group channel, our bus channel, we can sub out and still have our standard mix, and then come in here and go to sends, and then send to the drum channel. And, you know, I've got a pan of four, uh, 54 degrees right, so we can come here and do our all of our panning, drag and drop. So that makes life a lot easier. We don't have to sit here and right click all the time. We can just drag and drop. Match our, our panning here. And now, instead of having a bus channel to control everything, we have a group where we can control everything. And in our bus, we can then do a compressor and have parallel compression and then blend this up in it. So let's go drums. 
And let's say drum bus live. And we can play. And then bring the parallel compression underneath it. So that's two quick ways you can use a bus channel for two totally different things, whether you want to use it to control a group, say drum group, guitar group, vocal group, or whatnot, or if you want to use it to bus all your drums to and create some parallel compression. Again, thank you for joining us for our featured software series videos. For more information and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.